Well, how are we doing now there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I'm going to do a comparison, a beef ravioli comparison. Come and have a look what I got. It's got to be done, hasn't it? Now, I've, I've done one of these in the past, but not these ones. And I did it over, a, I think, it, about a year ago. So, obviously, the prices are going to be different. Um, and I thought, I thought I'd do these. Uh, Branston beef ravioli versus Aldi. Bramwell's beef ravioli. Difference in price. Uh, the Aldi were 65 pence, beef ravioli, and the Branston, I got it in B&M, that was 79 pence. So let's take a look at the tins. And straight away, I dropped it. <laughs> Luckily it didn't go on my foot. And I noticed, no ring pull with the Branston, no ring pull. So let's have a look how much do you get, 395 with the Branston. And you get 400 grams with the Aldi. So you're getting five grams more and you're getting a ring pull. It was 65p versus 79 pence. So it's cheaper. So let's have a look at the nutritional information. Let's try and do a side by side if I can get it in shot. Per 100. Have a look at them. See what you think. There's more sugar in the Branston. I've noticed. The sugar is 3.7 versus 3.5. Um, 0 0.50 grams of salt per 100 and 0.55 grams. So more salt, more sugar. So let's have a look at the ingredients. There's the ingredients there. Um, there's the ingredients there. So we've got a few allergens in there, haven't we? Uh, wheat and egg. Uh, wheat and egg in bold. Cooked beef ravioli in the Branston, 45%. Tomato, 44%. Beef ravioli, 43% in the Aldi. So we're getting 2% less. Well, let's get these open and see what we have got. Luckily, I've got a tin opener. So I used to have this growing up, the old ravioli. Oh, yes. Come off, it come off great that. Have a look at it in there. It's a little bit below, but that's always the norm. And um, let's get into this, the, the Branston. I have done beans comparison in the past. Branston beans versus Heinz. Um, it'll be in a comparison playlist, which I will put a link in the description. Um, they are the Branston look, pretty much the same color. I've got these two pans. I haven't got um, two pans the same size. But what I'll do, I'll put the Branston in the smaller one so I remember. They go in there, like that. Oh, it's going to take me back. Going to take me back eating these. Got it all out. Now the Aldi will go in the big one. Yeah, pretty much the same consistency as well. Aldi in the big, Branston in the small. I'll, I'll take you, I'll bring you down. Never mind bringing the pans to you. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you to the pans. There's the Aldi. And there's the Branston. So I've got them on the OB. Um, I'm just having them on low and I'm just going to heat them up slowly. Now this was a lovely gift sent to me by Miles. Thank you very much for that, Miles. They do come in really handy. Especially with these types of pans. I don't want to be scuffing the bottom. However, sometimes it just happens. My dad eats his beans cold. <laughs> and uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. I just thought I'd throw that in. I always uh, like to wash them out and, um, and recycle them as well. They're both done. This is the Aldi. And um, what I have noticed with the Aldi, it's a little bit thinner, the sauce. And they've all kept the form well. You, just five minutes, that's all. Um, do not boil, one's fallen apart there. So, take note of that. Um, and this is the Branston. Now, it, it may be because it's in a smaller... Um, but it seems to be a little bit thicker. And also, the pasta seems to be a bit more... A bit more fluffier as well, if, if that's the right word. Have we got any broken ones? I um, don't think we've got any broken ones. Right, let's get them out. Can't wait for this. Let's get them in here. Great over toast, these, aren't they? 
go, yeah, it's got to be done. Over a load of toast, a load of butter. Let's not, that's the Aldi. Let's get the Branston out. Oh, you can see it's a little bit thicker, the Branston. Points to note. We're going to have a little, a little autopsy beforehand. We're going to have a look. We're going to take a look into inside a ravioli. So I'll put the Aldi on this side. Um, I don't want to mix them up. We don't want any cross contamination. And I'll, I'll get the Branston on this side. Right, let's let's chop them up. So let's just cut them in half and we'll have a look. So that's that one. Put that to one side. I don't want to get mixed up. And this is the Aldi. Side by side comparison. <laughs> it's all technical. Technical here on this um, channel. There's the Branston. And there's the Aldi. Yeah. Pretty much um, looking the same. Bit bit darker with Aldi meat, isn't it? The beef. Yeah. Let's try them now. I've just been looking at the cans. And I'm just reading. This is um, Prince's Limited. Now I wonder if that's. Princes who do the sort of sandwich spreads um, and sort of the other tinned or meats as well. I wonder if that's them. I wonder if they've took over Branston. And, and the Aldi one, there's a GB sticker on there, look, specially produced for Aldi stores. It says Warwickshire. Is it Warwick? Warwickshire? I think so, yeah. 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 I think the last one I did was an Aldi. Um, uh, no, sorry, it was Asda versus Heinz, I think. I think it was Asda versus Heinz. All right, let's get into this Aldi one. Oh, it's going everywhere here now, isn't it? Look. Right. Mm. Oh, I love ravioli. You know, I mean, nothing like... Nothing like the ravioli you get in Italy. <laughs> don't get confused. I'll just move you back. You don't want to be getting too close to this head, do you? Um, I'll have a drink of water. Yeah, I mean, the ravioli was sort of well... The pasta was well cooked. Right, let's try the Branston. And I will give you my opinion. So there's the Branston one. Pretty much exactly the same, I would say. It, the, the pasta is well cooked, well soft. Um, the sauce is, it's it's sweet. Um, I'll go back into to the Aldi. I know I'm not going to have a drink now, but I'm just going to go straight in having tasted that. In fact, no, I will have a drink. No, I will have a drink because I'll get told off. <laughs> Comparison police will have me. And I like getting told off as well, to be honest. Slippery. Um, sweet. <laughs> Just how I remember it, really. Definitely needs toast. Definitely needs a load of well-cooked toast with lashings of butter. Right, I've made me. I've made an opinion. It's only my opinion. I'm only one person. I just thought I'd try them. It's not a lot in price. 65, 70, 14 pence difference. You get five grams less as well with Branston, and you don't get a ring pull. So, for me, the winner is Bramwell's purely on price, on taste, affordability. It's definitely Bramwell's Aldi. Definitely, you're getting more, and it's easier to get into. Um. And it's cheaper. For taste, the Branston just edges it. Just edges it for me on taste. Uh, it's just, it's just got a little bit more, it's it's bit, it's a little bit more tastier. Uh, and that is my opinion. Please let me know your thoughts. Um, but yeah, Bramwell's Aldi uh, doing what they do best. 
like I say, I've done, I've done the Heinz versus Asda, but that, that was a year ago, and then prices will be a lot less than these prices. If you want to go and have a look, I'll put it in the playlist of comparisons, and it'll, it'll be in there. So thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. Um, thank you all for watching. So take care, all the best, and I will catch you on the next one.